When propane is burning and it's being consumed, it only produces, this, is, this would be in a properly uh, configured system where everything's working the way it's supposed to be, everything's dialed in just right. All it produces is carbon dioxide and water, that's it. Uh, so it's very safe, uh, it's not like a, if there's a big propane spill, you're not calling hazmat to clean it up, like if it was like a battery or something that exploded all over the ground, or fuel or something all over the ground, okay, now we got issues, but if it's propane, it, 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 it's basically carbon and hydro, and, and, um, a carbon and hy um, yeah, carbon and hydrogen, and when you burn it, you're gonna get carbon dioxide and water, that's it. Um, now, where would the smoke come from? Smoke would be basically an indication that it's not burning correctly. Uh, now, what would cause um, the propane not to burn correctly? Well, it could either be too lean or too rich. Um, what we see in furnaces, water heaters, um, not so much refrigerators as much, but yeah, I see it in refrigerators too, but overwhelmingly water heaters and furnaces. Um, it could be specifically furnaces might have a nest inside of your burn chamber, your heat exchanger part, um, where we see that because the, the burn might be clean, but there's a nest of some type in there. Now, when we were down south, there was a lot of mud daubers down there, and these guys get way up in there. Um, and so it could be burning that out, um, uh, wasps nests and things like that so we want to make sure that there's no nest inside because that could be what's what's causing the smoke um, you would want to make sure that your propane now when I said that the um, the byproduct of burning propane is water and um, carbon dioxide that's if everything is is working perfectly if everything is dialed in correctly um, so apparently something's not dialed in correctly. So what I would do if I was there, I would start with a propane pressure test. Um, and I would make sure that my propane is at six ounces of pressure, uh, which is 11 inches of water column. Uh, so you would need a manometer for that. Check your state to make sure if you can do it yourself or if you have to have a license to do it. Uh, we started our business in Texas and that was regulated by the uh, Texas Railroad Commission. I had to have a manager's license and take eight hours of training and also make sure that my uh, insurance was maintained every single year or I could get in a lot of trouble for working on propane. We come up here in Washington and we start our business up here and I start to get some propane questions or some propane calls and I was asking, asking, and up here, ah, yeah, yeah, brother-in-law, here, you could do it. So it's, it's interesting how different states regulate this. So, um, but you would start with your propane. Uh, I like to check the pressure at the appliance. So I would check your propane pressure at your furnace to make sure that you're at 11 inches of water column, or six ounces. Um, now, the other thing on a furnace is your orifice. Um, I, we've done jobs, and I've got some pictures of this. It was fascinating. Uh, we had a customer come all the way from South Carolina. He had been through multiple different dealerships. They could not figure out what was wrong with his furnace. He brings it to us, and with a matter of minutes, I knew what the problem was. And that little orifice right at the burner jet, um, little teeny insects had made it, had gotten inside of there and made a nest. And so that was restricting this, this perfect flow of, of propane vapor. Um, there was, it, it was too much oxygen, not enough propane, and we weren't getting a nice clean burn that way as well. So um, a couple things to check, um, and black smoke would be an indication that it's, um, it's just not burning cleanly. Um, I don't know that you would get gray smoke out of a propane. We, we do see gray smoke out of an aqua hot. That's an indication of unspent diesel fuel. So on your aqua hots, you might get, uh, you, you don't want blue smoke, that's bad. But um, gray smoke out of an aqua hot is unburned diesel fuel. Uh, black smoke out of your furnace is something with carbon in it, which would be like a, a, a nest of some type would be the first go-to that I have because um, it's burning up. And now I think I heard you say it sometimes it's doing it, sometimes it's not. Um, so maybe it's a nest that's being burned up in there slowly. Um, if your propane was off, then I would expect it to be consistent. Another thing to check would be um, your propane. Uh, if you're in a van, then I would assume you have an AMSE tank mounted underneath that somehow. Make sure that the tank is purged correctly. The only thing you should have in your propane tank or cylinder is propane. And uh, so if these aren't purged correct, if these are not purged correctly, you could have some oxygen or some water or some some something other than propane in your tank, and that would cause the burn to not be perfectly clean. So to fix that, you would purge your cylinders, purge your tanks, 
and um, that would also maybe cause some of these problems you're having. I've seen insect nests get way up inside of that heat exchanger. Even though it looks good from the surface where you can get your flashlight, they've gone farther inside. Uh, check your burner orifice to make sure that that's nice and clean. Check your propane pressure at the appliance and make sure that your propane cylinder is nice and clean. The go-to there is I get a known good cylinder that I know is good and I will connect the appliance to my known good cylinder and if it works perfectly that way, then I then, then highly suspect that the AMSE tank or the propane cylinder that your barbecue grill or whatever, um, that that propane cylinder is contaminated with something other than propane in it. Um, we see this often with brand new tanks um, that were not purged correctly and um, when they get shipped out of the factory, if they're not pre-purged, um, they might have uh, dry air, compressed dry air in the cylinders um, and uh, it'll have a sticker on the little service valve and to be purged. To purge your cylinder, um, when you take your, these would be cylinders, you would take it to your filling station. Now the person that's doing the filling, they should be licensed and certified to do filling and purging of a cylinder is one of the tests that they have to be proficient in. But when you purge a cylinder, um, what they should do is you have your big giant white tanks that they draw it from, feral gas or am gas or whatever these places. Um, the bottom of the tank is liquid, the top of the tank is vapor on these things. And so um, they're gonna be filling your, on a, any given day, they're gonna be filling your cylinders with liquid propane. But to purge a tank, you need to take it off the top of their big giant huge cylinder and fill that, your barbecue grill cylinder with, with LP vapor off the top of the big tank. And you do that three, four, five times. You fill it with vapor, exhaust it, fill it with vapor, exhaust it, fill it with vapor, exhaust it. And every time you're doing that, you're getting more and more of the contaminant out of the tank. And then you would fill it then with the liquid propane. Um, so on our website, uh, myreviewworks.com, under the resources tab, um, search there for LP, uh, LP, I don't know if it's LP or LPG, but we do have some information on there on purging tanks and other information on there on LP. But black smoke, check a nest, check your propane pressure. You want six ounces or 11 inches of water column at the furnace. Compare it to a known good propane source. Uh, do a good cleaning on everything, including the burner nozzle, um, and see if that doesn't fix it. But somewhere your propane is not being burned cleanly. And so you're not getting this water and carbon dioxide coming out of it, you're getting something else.